What is going on? Gun is alive. Coming at you with another vlog here on the channel. Good morning, Tucker. What's the date, Tucker? April 4th, 2020. It's a Saturday. See right here, 8.36 a.m. Woke up a little while ago, decided that today I wanted to go ahead and do an at-home quarantine vlog. Since I'm gonna be at home all day, I can record a couple of the things that I do, some of the activities, one of which is playing with Tucker, and then I'll go ahead and just make a vlog, show y'all how I'm spending my time at home. I've left the house this week maybe two to three times just to go walking at the park with my girlfriend, making sure that we stay as far away from other people as possible. So like if we're walking on the path, right? We're walking straight, someone else walking to us, we walk over to the side, walk around them, and then get back on the path. But other than that, I've been at home the entire week, working from home, whoa, Tucker, ah. Working from home, exercising from home, doing weights, and then going to the park to do a little bit of walking, spending a bunch of time with Tucker, streaming a bunch, and wow. yeah, that's pretty much how my, Week is gone. Quarantine and social distancing. But yeah, spend a little bit of time in the backyard with Tucker right now, and then we're gonna go make some breakfast in a few minutes. Tucker, you're rubbing that toy in the dirt. That means it's gonna get dirty, right? The ground's a little wet right now, y'all. It may rain later on. It's all cloudy right now. But if it rains, Tucker, that's fine, because almost all of our activities today are gonna be indoors. Yo, Tucker, I like that picture of you right there. Let me snap it, bro. If you're not already, please go follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Jordan Rothy, which is my name. I post a bunch of pictures of me doing workouts and then pictures of Tucker as well. So the picture I just took, go ahead and post it. Bam. Oh, someone's got a, a horse running. God dang, brother. But yeah, here's my handle at Jordan Rothy. Bam. Workouts. Tucker. Food more workouts i got some new shoes they're fire okay tucker i saw the neighbor's dog run off back to their patio area they're not at the fence anymore come on let's go we're pausing money we can play some tug of war though oh i heard a rip that's not good uh, uh. Whew, what about this toy you want the penguin one bam bam look y'all he's got a tennis ball now too he's got the little animal toy he's got the tennis ball Whew. drop it nope drop it drop it Go. Bam. Off the roof. And bounce. He got it. What are you smelling? Huh? You looking for the ball to be thrown? Alright, go. Let's do one more. And I'm gonna go eat breakfast. Oh, good catch. And drop. Go. Boom. Go get it. Go. Hi. Meow. Lock the door. Safety first. Good morning, mom. Oh, morning. you're blurry. We're vlogging today. Why are Since we we're, vlogging? Because oh. we're at home the whole day. Don't I look fantastic? I mean, I guess you look great. For breakfast, what we're gonna make is an egg, turkey bacon sandwich. We're gonna have some strawberries on the side. So I got the turkey bacon wrapped up. It's left over. I need to go ahead and cook the eggs. Do this with one hand. Bam. Egg number two, open a little bit more, and bam, maybe. So two eggs, I'm gonna scramble them today. Go ahead and break the yolks, set that to the side. And then I need to start the toaster for the toasted bread, because I want to be a little crunchy. And then last up, we got some strawberries, so I'm gonna wash them here under the water in the sink just like this you know what i'm saying rinse them bring them over here just set them on the paper towel to dry and then grab a few more to clean i always wash the food off when we get it from the store and then dab them off so that they're not super wet that they dry some and then voila we got the strawberries back to the egg Make sure it doesn't burn on the pan. Spray it first with some of this no stick ham spray. And that's pretty much how I prepare my breakfast, y'all. I gotta assemble the sandwich here in just a moment. The toast is now done. I'm gonna put the egg on the toast. Bam, bacon number one. And then over here, bam, bacon number two. 
and then bam, top piece of toast, and just like that, turkey bacon and egg sandwich with some strawberries. Also gonna have some water, coffee to drink, coffee going in the cup. Yeah. I'm gonna get some creamer also. Pop the top, pour a little bit in, and stop. Breakfast is served, y'all. I'm here at my setup. I'll show you what I'm watching after I take a bite. Let's try it out. Super simple breakfast, easy to make, y'all. And. Pretty good. While I eat, I'm on Twitch. Over here right now, we got Dakota's and Dr. Lupo live. So I'm checking out Dakota's stream. Check out Dr. Lupo here in a minute. Looks like Dakota's on Fortnite. Lupo's on Modern Warfare. I like both Fortnite and Modern Warfare. There's a lot of cheaters in Modern Warfare though right now. I, I'm assuming he's playing Warzone actually. He's in Warzone, I'm assuming. There's a lot of cheaters in the Warzone part of the Modern Warfare game. Alexa, what's the weather gonna be like today? Currently. In Missouri City, it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect thunderstorms with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Alexa, what's the joke of the day? I really dig earthworms, but I haven't met one yet that doesn't have a dirty mouth. So, anyways, I got an Alexa deal or an Echo deal, whatever it's called, for Christmas. And I didn't set it up until last week, so I didn't set it up in January. Didn't set it up in February, decided to set it up at the end of March last week. Actually, no, April. Yeah, end of March last weekend. And so far, it's pretty helpful. You can use it to ask you what the weather's gonna be like. If you need something to add to like the, the list for the store, like let's say my mom's cooking, and then she needs like salt. She can say, Alexa, add salt to the grocery list. And then she does it. And then you look at your app on the phone and it has the list of everything that you've added. And you can also say, hey, set a reminder for, like last weekend, set a reminder for 5.30 to thaw out the hamburger buns. And then at 5.30, Get a little notification, bam, thought the hamburger buns. Anyways though, what I'm about to do is knock out my exercise for the day. One thing I've gotten in the good habit of doing on Saturdays is waking up, having breakfast, getting my exercise done early in the morning so that I have the rest of the morning and the afternoon to do my own thing before I hang out with my girlfriend all late afternoon and evening. So since the gym's not open right now due to the coronavirus, I'm gonna go ahead and do some exercise at home. I've got a little bike, so I'm gonna knock out some cardio. And then I've got like a weight bar, a weight machine, some plates, here's some more weights, and then down this cabinet, even some more weights. Today my exercise is gonna be the bike for some cardio, and then I'll do some abs, oblique exercises, and then some leg exercises as well. I did upper body yesterday, so about to knock this out. Time is currently 9.30, there you can see the reflection, there we go, 9.37. Knock this 30 minutes of cardio out, and then get some exercises done, and then I kinda wanna shoot some baskets too. So if it's not raining in a little while, we'll go ahead and move some cars. Got the basketball goal. Zoom, 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 on the bike, here at the house, you know what I'm saying? Getting that cardio in. One thing that I do like y'all about working out at home is I can watch movies. So right now I'm watching Live Free or Die Hard because whenever I'm at the gym, I'm always listening to music. I got my AirPods in and I literally listen to music for the entire time I'm there, whether it be an hour and a half or two hours or two and a half hours. And if I do that five to six times a week, that's a lot of music that I listen to. So it's nice to switch it up and watch some movies while I exercise. So I just started, I'm at one minute, 12, one minute, 13, one minute, 14, one minute, 15, one minute, 16 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 minutes on the bike and then do some other exercises. It'll be anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. When I'm at the gym, I have a lot longer workouts, more weights, more equipment. But with this whole quarantine thing going on, I'm still getting in some exercise, getting it done quickly with what I got. Three, two, one. Done. In vlog time, that was only a few seconds, but in real life time, that was 30 minutes. Normally at the gym, I do my cardio at the end of my weights, because I don't like being sweaty while I do my weights since I'm there for so long doing so much. But here at home, I'll do my cardio before, just because it helps me get my sweat going, and also get my heart rate up. Sweating right now. What you doing? Just <laughs> outside, checking. 
Computer. Ted's computer. Ah, uh, alright. Pop's doing some yard work. Tucker chilling out in the yard. I'm gonna start off doing some abs and oblique work. There's the mat out here. A little cushion on the concrete. What's up, Tucker? Where are you going? Back to the fence, huh? Looking towards the fence. Neighbor's dog's out. Got the bunny toy now. Hello. from truly free weekends, truly free nights, or truly free seven. The real night free choose to lose essential workers. I'm running it. Little bit of big city concrete, but a lot more small town. Better. I'm pretty sure last time I shot a basketball, it was maybe like six months ago at the gym. I was with my girlfriend. The court was open. We went in and shot some baskets. And yeah, since then, I haven't touched a ball. Definitely haven't played here in my house in a long time. Remember when I used to do the, the free throw challenges here on the channel? Those are good times, man. Looking to have some more fun right now. All right, we're good. I'm gonna show you all my first free throw, see if I make it or not. First free throw of the day. First free throw in a few months. Camera, decent. Let me tilt it a little bit. Sitting on the back of my car right now. Piece of cake, y'all. Current goal situation. Pollen all over the backboard. No big deal. From the line now. Y'all, POV. Second shot. Ooh, beast mode. Real talk. This is all 100% legit. Let's see how many I can make before I finally miss. All right, third shot was a miss, but I went ahead, just knocked out the core part of my workout, abs, obliques, now I'm gonna shoot some baskets, and I'm gonna do some leg exercises. Dad and Tucker playing in the backyard with the ball. Tucker's gonna catch it. Yum, of course. Ma, you wanna tell the vlog what you're doing? I'm doing all the work. What are you doing exactly as the work? I'm leveling the stones that had started to slip forward into the grass that we put out last year. And all the others are fine, but these aren't, so I gotta fix them. Right. So flatten out the dirt, put the base stone on top of the dirt and then yep. put the bigger stone on top of the base stone yep. <sighs> good job just got done taking a shower all clean now about to have some lunch focus camera there we go this is cauliflower rice with diced up chicken breast scrambled egg peas green beans carrots and corn it's a leftover dinner that we had last night and i'm gonna have this real quick and go ahead and throw it up in the microwave oops forgot to cover it real quick too mm -hmm. tastes good i enjoy it also the time as you can see on the clock is currently 11.52, so almost done with morning and into afternoon. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.52 a.m. Mm, she got it right. I am now going to show you how to properly brush your teeth. Step one, get your toothbrush and get it wet, right? After you get it wet, then you get your toothpaste, okay? Toothpaste almost empty, I got some toothpaste. Now on the toothbrush, I then get the toothpaste and the toothbrush wet. 
and then I rush. Brush, brush, brush. Get everything side, up, down, circle. If you have stuff in your teeth, floss. I like to floss with the toothpaste, so the toothpaste gets up in the gums. Some people floss before, I floss in the middle. Brush again, clean it up. After that, I usually rinse off the toothbrush, get some water. Spit it out, then I'll brush again, get the crevices all clean, rinse, some more water, bam. After that, I then proceed to dry off the toothbrush, dry it off, right? Put it back in your holder, then you also dry off your hand, your mouth, and just like that, clean teeth. E I was just walking to my computer room, game room. Look at all these toys Tucker has. One tennis ball, two tennis balls, three tennis balls. He's got them out all over the place. Anyways, moving on to my next activity. Here, I'll show you that one second. Moving on to my next activity of the day real quick. I need to log in so I can use my computer. Bam, enter. Logging in, let's get it. Before I show y'all what I'm about to do on my computer though, let me show you my current at home work setup. At the start of this video, I believe I mentioned when I was in the backyard that I've been working from home and it's nice, I love it. I don't gotta sit in traffic or drive to work. I don't gotta sit in traffic or drive home from work. I wake up, work, and then I'm done and I'm at home already. It's fantastic. So my current at home work setup is right monitor, left monitor, keyboard, mouse, mouse pad is from my house, a few papers that I need with some miscellaneous stuff, a little computer box deal, password generator thing so I can log on from home, phone which I'm actually not using because there's no power cord. And that's pretty much what my setup looks like here at home at work. The only difference is I have a third monitor and then I also have some speakers. So instead of having two monitors, I'll have one, two, three. And I have like a speaker down here between the middle and right monitor and a speaker down here between the middle and left monitor. Left side of my desk is the same monitor. One and two, PC, mouse, keyboard, controller for my Xbox. Normally I have a single monitor here from home with my Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 4 currently all over here in this compartment because I haven't been using them and I wanted to be able to work from this desk so I can see outside during the day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And also, if you are paying attention to details, you'll notice I have a laptop box and I have a second mouse because at the end of last year, I ended up buying a laptop. So my laptop is currently in the case. I'll pull it out in a little while and show you all, but yeah. Ever since I finished school, I didn't have a need for a laptop. I have my old one right here in the cabinet case area on the shelf. That's from 2010, I believe. Summer 2010 is when I got it. And ever since I finished school, I didn't have a need for a laptop. I had my, my PC here at home, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to get a, a laptop to carry around with me. Like if I go to my girlfriend's house or something or if I just want to sit in the recliner and do some stuff on the computer while the TV's on. And I also got a laptop because I wanted something portable and I could take with me because I've been doing some personal training and that's actually what I'm about to get to right now while everything loads up. It's nice that I can carry my laptop with me if I'm going somewhere so I can go ahead and just take care of business without having to be on my PC or without having to do it from my phone, even though both options are doable. And I got some workout plans that I'm gonna work up right now for my clients. So here's a current workout plan I have for my homie Shane, a guy I met at the gym, been helping him out. Got some explanations here at the top for what the plan is, some goals set for him to accomplish, and then I got his Monday workout in yellow, Tuesday workout in green, Wednesday is his rest day, 
Thursday is another workout. Friday workout in red. Oops, what did I do? There we go, back. Rest day on Saturday, and then Sunday is in gray. It's another workout for him. So just an FYI, if you're interested in personal training, hit me up. Leave a comment on this video or DM me on Instagram. And now when I'm at home, I'm able to work on my PC, right? To go ahead and create the plan or log on, handle email, stuff like that. But whenever I'm on the go, then I have my laptop and I just carry it with me. Whether I take care of something and when I'm at work on my lunch break or whether I take care of something like at the gym, then I have my laptop with me sometimes. Or let's say like I wanted to go to the park and sit out on the bench in the nice weather, I could do that. Or if I wanted to work out in the backyard on the patio in the nice weather, I got my laptop now, just do that. Or like I said, sit in the chair, just do whatever. So that's one reason I got the laptop. Actually, that's two reasons I got the laptop. One is I just kind of wanted it. Two is it helps with this workout personal training stuff that I've been doing. And then I'll explain reason number three to you all in a little bit when I show you my laptop. But anyways, back to this workout plan. As you can see, last four weeks, that's how long a split lasts. So everything that I showed y'all in the document, this is a four week plan for my homie Shane. And that four week plan is now up. So it's time for me to come up with another four week plan for him to follow. This time it will be different though, because one, the gym is closed. So he'll be working out from home. And two, we want progression over time. So we change up the workouts every four weeks. So let me work up this plan. What time? Right now it is 12, 14 PM. I'm gonna work up this plan and then I'll show it to you all just so in case you all are at home and you want to do some exercises y'all can have an idea kind of what you can do to stay active during this coronavirus quarantine here we go vlog just made my homies workout plan for him to do at home I'm gonna walk y'all through it real quick in case y'all want to get some in-home out workouts done as well so I start off hello Shane that's his name congratulations to you and your wife on having another kiddo they had another child that was born last week you know so congratulations to them I already text them congratulations tell them congratulations again in the email I'm gonna send them because it's a happy time for him and his wife and the rest of their family after that I move on a little short paragraph you know the gym's closed you can do these workouts at home they'll last 30 to 60 minutes they allow you to stay active and stay in shape I also let them know these workouts aren't gonna be as intense as gym workouts right but you can still get some work done at home when it comes to uh, being active and fit. I then let him know goal number one is do some stretching a few times a week. He can even get his kids to do it, right? They can all participate together. And goal number two is stay hydrated. One thing that me and Shane have been working on is him stretching more often to help with his flexibility. And then obviously he does a good job staying hydrated, but still a reminder, you know, stay hydrated. You're gonna be at home as opposed to running around, work, work out, you know, doing what is it called? Errands, running errands, you know, you're gonna be at home, make sure you drink plenty of water, stay hydrated. Then we move on to his workout. We got Monday off. He mentioned to me he wanted Mondays and Fridays off, so then we got Fridays off for him as well. I'm gonna start off on Tuesday then with a chest and triceps workout. Got three chest exercises, bench press, dumbbell chest flies, and push-ups. We'll move into the triceps, got some kickbacks, and some overhead dumbbell extensions. He does have a little bit of equipment at his house, so he'll be able to knock out all five of these exercises with the equipment that he has. If you all don't have equipment at home, then you probably wouldn't be able to do the first, second, fourth, or fifth exercise unless you somehow get creative. So even though you don't have equipment at home, if you wanna do bench press, all you gotta do is get something that you can put over yourself and then press up. I saw someone on Instagram the other day doing bench press, but they were holding a suitcase. So you can still figure out ways to get these exercises done. You just gotta get creative, right? Like if you wanted to do a tricep kickback, maybe you have something that weighs roughly 10, 15, 20 pounds. You just bend over and do the kickback, just holding whatever that is that you have that weighs a certain amount of weight. Anyways, moving on for Wednesday, we got legs. He can either do banded squats or kid on his shoulder squat, some stiff leg deadlifts. He does have a barbell he can use for that. 
standing calf raises, you know, all you gotta do is stand on a piece of wood, a two by four to do standing calf raises. Or if you go outside and stand on the curb, then you can do some standing calf raises there. You just gotta get creative with it. Next up on the list, we have walking lunges. He does walking lunges at the gym already. So now he'll just be able to knock out some walking lunges at home, whether it be inside in the living room or outside in the backyard or in the driveway. He'll be able to get his walking lunges done. And y'all can get walking lunges done as well. Just use your body weight. Just walk, do a lunge, walk, do a lunge, alternate sides, boom. Simple, get it done. Last up for leg day, got a single leg, banded hamstring curl. He got some bands from one of the sporting goods stores that we have locally, so he should be able to knock those out. Then we move into Thursday, delts and abs. Okay, delts, the muscles go around the shoulder joint, abs right here in your midsection area. For these exercises, we got him doing a seated overhead barbell press. Again, if y'all don't have a barbell, just find something else you can lift up over your head. A bent over dumbbell reverse fly. Again, if you don't have dumbbells, find something 15, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds, you can do a reverse fly. Same thing with lateral raises. All these exercises, y'all, you don't need any weight to do. Seated tucks, an ab exercise. You don't need any weight to do. You can just sit on the floor. Same thing, lying leg raises, no equipment needed. Just lay on the ground. Seated twist, holding a weight plate. We'll just get something that weighs roughly 15, 20, 25 pounds. Hold it and do some twists. Sit on the butt. Sit on your butt with your feet off the ground, twist side to side, and then a V-sit hold. You literally just balance on your butt. You stick your legs out, you stick your arms out, shape of a V, the letter V, and you just hold it. I actually posted myself doing a V-sit hold on my Instagram today, Saturday, April 4th, 2020. So if you go check out my Instagram, Jordan Rothy, then you can see what a V-sit hold looks like. Scrolling down again, Friday off, mentioned that already. Saturday, back and biceps day. Starting off with the bent over barbell row. If you don't have a barbell, just get something that is kind of heavy and you can work on bending over and then pulling it toward your stomach area. Get a rowing motion. Number two, pull ups and shrug superset. Whenever I used to do at home workouts a long time ago, I would go out and use the tree branch in the backyard and do pull ups. So. Maybe you don't have a tree, but if you can possibly find another way, you can do some pull-ups at home. All you need is something you can hold on to with your feet not touching the ground, and you just pull yourself up. Get creative with it. I'm gonna superset the pull-ups with some shrugs. Go ahead and knock those out. Just hold something in your hand, shrug up, shrug down. After that, we got single arm dumbbell rows. If you don't have a dumbbell, get something that just has some weight to it and row it. Dumbbell hammer curls, barbell curls. If you don't have any weights, just get something that you can curl up, right? And you get that motion in. Last up is a Sunday workout. It's gonna be the same exact leg workout as his Wednesday workout. So he's got five workouts, two leg days, or lower body days, three upper body days, and then one abs day. And then whenever I send him this email in a little while, I'm gonna text him and say, hey, you know, if you wanna throw in another ab day, feel free to go ahead and do that. If you have any questions, if you have any ideas, you wanna alter anything, just let me know a little bit. We can work together. That's the point of me being a personal trainer. I wanna work with clients so that they get the most out of their workouts. So he'll give these a try. Maybe he says they're too easy. All right, we'll make them a little bit more difficult. Or maybe he says, you know, it's good for an at-home workout until we get back to the gym and to the more difficult training, you know, the more intense training. So yeah, that's it. You see up here, Shane Workouts 2020 V3. This is the third workout split I'm sending him this year. So again, if you're interested in personal training, you know, leave a comment on this video or hit my DM on Instagram at Jordan Rothy. Also, my email, my fitness email, Jordan Rothy Fitness at hotmail.com. Shoot me an email. I'll respond back to you and get working on a program. You know, I do fitness programs like exercise, and then I also do nutrition programs. So, in the kitchen, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, exact meals you can make, how to make the meals, you know, meal ideas, nutrition info, calories, proteins, carbs, fats. I work well with other people, other people work well with me, and we accomplish goals. That's what we do out here. Mom just came inside and said that she found a friend. I'm assuming she found some type of snake. Oh, hello, Mr. Snake. Say hello. Let's go out here with a little bit lighter. Hey, Tucker, what do you think? I did those stones. He was over there under a stone. You did those? He was over where? Over on the ones on the side of the flower bed. Close? Ah. I lifted a stone and he was all curled up sleeping. Hello, Mr. Snake. 
He's How not a, he's not one that are hurts you? people. Was it just like a garden snake or something? Yeah. Mm, interesting. But I'll put it in my neighbor's garden. Did you jump a little bit or were you just like, oh, no, hello? No, I said, oh, he was all curled up. So I got two shovels, picked him up, put him in there. Mm, good job. That's it. Tucker's a little wet. Tucker, you're wet. Need to, need to get dry now. It's been a while since we had a snake in the backyard. That's just a little small snake though. Next up on my to-do list is to show you all, bam, my laptop. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set it down real quick. Oh shoot, y'all okay? Did y'all just fall? Y'all were actually balancing on my microphone so not really the best idea but it's where y'all were so this is an asus laptop let me go ahead and hit the power on button y'all see it load up a little bit of a glare from the window outside but yep light up everything you know the vibes is lit and bam same wallpaper background as my pc but let me go ahead and show y'all what's up with this, man. So it's got the light up. I believe the screen is 17 inches. Let me go ahead and actually grab this box real quick so I can show you all of the specs. If they're on here, are they? No, they're not. Maybe they are. Okay, here's the specs for anyone who wants to know. The model G731G. The backlit light bar, right? LCD screen, 17 inches. Got VRAM 6. The Intel i7 processor. Uh, HDD, SDD, ODD, RAM, Wi Fi, USB, operating system, keyboard languages, power. It's just some of it. Here's the SKU number, model number, if y'all are interested in looking it up online. But yeah, part of the Republic of Gamers. So, bam, there it is, y'all. My laptop that I've been using for a little while now. So, let me show you real quick. Y'all saw the work I was doing a minute ago on my PC, right? Let me show you my laptop now. That I can work on the same file, not by emailing myself the Word document and then opening it up and saving it and all that, but actually, because I've been using cloud storage to save some of my data. So then I can just do this, click there, and bam. Now everything that I have on my laptop is the same as I was working on my PC. You can see, last modified 30 minutes ago. Has it already been 30 minutes? Sheesh. But yeah, save it in the cloud. Super simple. Now I can work on the same work on my laptop that I was doing on my PC from anywhere because the laptop's portable. I believe a few clips ago, I mentioned a bunch of reasons why I ended up getting a laptop. And then I said there was another reason that I would tell about y'all, tell you all about later, and I'm about to tell you right now. One thing I've been working on quite a bit recently is learning how to code. And this website, Code Academy, it offers classes and courses so that you can learn the different programming languages. And then it gives you like a task or information over here on the left that you can bring into yourself as knowledge so you can learn right and then in the middle you can practice your coding and then on the right it's your output from your practice code from the instructions or information that are displayed on the left panel so let me go back real quick i did some coding a few years ago and then i stopped but i wanted to get back into it so a laptop one of the reasons i got it is so i can do more coding right i can obviously do coding on my pc when i'm at home but let's say i have some time somewhere in between activities like work in the gym or i'm at the gym waiting for my girlfriend to show up so then we can do yoga class and i got like an hour rather than just sitting there on my phone for an hour on social media or not really doing anything i can bring my laptop with me now and i can practice coding or even if i'm sitting in the chair you know, I can practice coding or on the back patio or anywhere at all. I can practice coding and learn the new languages and become more familiar with everything that goes on. Because one thing I thought about y'all is that I really do enjoy being at home. So if I were to able to somehow one day work from home full time, that would be awesome. And obviously, if 
you are familiar with coding, then you can work from a laptop or a computer from home or remotely from anywhere. So coding, that's my new skill that I'm working on learning right now, y'all. Different languages. So let's go ahead and look at just an example. I'm starting off by learning web development, y'all, when it comes to websites. So in the course that I'm currently taking, I'll learn the language HTML and about styling a website, right? Then I'll work some with JavaScript, CSS, that's for styling the website. But I'll work some with JavaScript, right? Learn about that language. Later on, learn about SQL. I think it's Structured Query Language. I think that's what it stands for. And then some React language as well. But pretty much there's 14 deals that I'll be working on. I'm currently working on number one, which is learn HTML. So if I expand that, these are all the videos I've watched, the lessons I've done, the project, right? Video lesson where you learn about it, project, something that you actually build. Scroll down some more. I did some quizzes, some more lessons, some more projects, some more quizzes. And then this is what I actually did yesterday. And this is what I'm going to work on today here in a little bit but have fun coding y'all it's fun writing programs software developing whatever it is i have fun doing it so i'm learning more about it and then through this code academy website you do pay i'm paying i started i started this month and i'm paying 20 dollars a month which is fine because i'm i've been using this every single day so if we look at the full catalog what they offer they have these languages html css javascript that's what i'm working on right now and then later on I'm going to Python, Java and some of the rest of these languages. Right now I'm also they got different career paths. So the first one I'm doing or I already did the code foundation, right? That one I knocked out in the first few days. It's just, you know, a little bit of overview, some history. I'll knock these out computer science and data science later on. I actually skipped them for now and I'm working on the web development. So HTML CSS, JavaScript, and React. And then if I scroll down even more, it just has a bunch of other courses that you can take. Look how many courses there are, y'all. So many. So here's my PCR, as you can see. I'm logged in right now. Got the same information over here on my PC as I do on my laptop. Yo, you got a mic, bro? Ben had a mic, homie, what's good? Let's get right, that. Hold up, hold up. There's a drop hold below up. us, there's a drop below right, us. Hold up. Drop down. Drop down. Get a supply drop, man. Come on, pilot. Come yeah, on, pilot. Don't know how to drive, God dang. Drive, bro. We're talking about flying. What you talking about driving? Yeah, yeah, God dang. This dude pissed. Two knocks already? Bots or what? Yeah, damn, I'm just popping off right now, huh? Why did I start this game, random? I'm actually going off. For real, for real. Oh my god, I'm literally smacking everybody here right now. Literally smacking everybody here right now. I got four, baby! I got four! Oh, C4. Dude, these guys are spamming everything they possibly can. I know, they're just oh, really, they're thirsty, they're thirsty, bro. They're really thirsty. Jesus. Dude, oh my god, calm down, dude. Bro, it's like, we're not playing the uh. World Cup. It's not arena. Go sweat in the arena. Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. Alright. 
Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Watch out right there. There's a kid. Right there, right there. That's the guy that killed me. Oh, I used that. Golly. Let's go, Gunners. Right now, Ooh, Ooh, nice shot, nice, nice shot, shot bro. So I just wrapped up the stream in a dinner, had lasagna and salad for dinner, and then those clips you just saw were from the stream. Shout out to everybody that came by. But with that being said, Tucker, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog now. Time to hang out with my girlfriend. I think Tucker blinked first, what y'all say? Anyways, if you enjoyed <laughs> this vlog, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. New videos every once in a while here on my channel. New live streams every once in a while here on my channel. Follow me on Instagram like I mentioned before, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you another time. Roof, 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 ro